Hello everyone. How are you doing? You are most welcome. Thank you so much. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. As you are coming in, please give this video a thumbs up so that other people can get to see it. Okay? If you have not subscribed, try to subscribe, join, and turn on the bell for more videos. On this channel, we pray to God. We seek solution. We cry out to God. We call on God. We call on miracle. And God has never disappointed us. He has never turned his back on us. So all you need to do is to join us. May God bless you abundantly. So today, we are going to pray against the spirit of disappointment. The spirit of disappointment and failure. These are very stubborn spirits. If you are the type, in all your expectation, or in most of your expectation, you are always disappointed. Nothing is working out as planned. It is an error. It is an error when you have more of disappointment than success. I know you are being told that every disappointment is a blessing. Not all. Not every time. Not in all situations. When you have the spirit of disappointment and failure, nothing good happens. No success. Whenever you plan something, you see otherwise. When people promise you something, you see otherwise. When you expect something good, you see otherwise. It is not good as a human being. All your expectation, all what you hope for is being dashed off. It's being blown by the wind. Or anything you try to do, you fail. Pray against the spirit of failure. If you are always failing in anything you try to do, or maybe you have a project or something you have been working on, but you are always failing, you have never succeeded, you are going to say this prayer in the middle of the night at midnight to remove the spirit of disappointment and failure and failure so that things will start working well for you so that your plans all your good plans will come to play by the power of God okay so you are going to wake up at midnight set your phone on alarm wake up at midnight and Ask God for forgiveness. Always start your prayers with forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Because of the blood of Jesus, Lord, have mercy. Because of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, Lord, forgive my sin. When you plead for mercy, when you confess your sin to God, it calls for forgiveness. And you on your own, try to change. I know that nobody is actually perfect, but we should all try to work on our imperfection. Okay? So when you are done with that, you thank the Lord. Thank God for all he has done. At least, he has done a lot. Many of you always feel that God has done nothing. That is a lie. You being alive alone is something. Take your pen, take your paper. And begin to count your blessing you will see that God has done a lot but all we look at is what he has not done check your career check your life check your head God has done something you should always have something to be grateful about okay so you are going to say this powerful prayer point there are ten in numbers you can write them down or just memorize them as we pray them tonight. Number one, I reject 
the spirit of disappointment and failure in the name of Jesus. I, Henrietta Dennis, reject the spirit of disappointment and failure in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of disappointment, every spirit of failure in my life, I reject it. I reject and I denounce and I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray on that. Reject the spirit of disappointment and failure. Prayer point number two. I break the backbone of disappointment over my life and family in the name of Jesus. I break the backbone of disappointment of failure over my life, over my family in the name of Jesus. I uproot every seed of disappointment. I uproot every seed of failure in my life, in that of my family, in the name of Jesus. Prayer point number three. Every spirit of disappointment going ahead of me to scatter my blessing. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. You are going to pray this very well. Every spirit of disappointment going ahead of me to spoil things for me. Going ahead of me to scatter my blessing. I uproot you and I destroy you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of disappointment that is always spoiling my blessing, that is always spoiling my miracle, that is always spoiling my breakthrough, I destroy you, I rebuke you, I uproot you in the name of Jesus. Every disappointing, delaying power assigned to put me at one spot be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every disappointing, Delaying spirit assigned to put me, to keep me in one spot so that I will not move forward, so that I will not grow, so that I will not progress. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed. At times, the enemies, they can cast this disappointing, delaying spirit. When good thing wants to happen, there is disappointment which calls for delay. Your blessing is being prolonged. Years after years, you are still at the same spot. When you are walking towards something, you are getting close to your heart's desire, to your goal. Something happens, disappointment, and now, again, you are being delayed. You are going to pray against that disappointing, delaying spirit. Because disappointment always causes delay. That delay caused by disappointment. That delay caused by the enemy. Uproot from your life in the name of Jesus. Every disappointment causing delay in my life. Causing stagnation in my life. Keeping me at one spot. I uproot you in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Anointing for double speed, follow me. Anointing for double speed, follow me. When you have speed, you will achieve all your goals without delay, without wasting your time. Opposite of delay is speed. You will make money speedily. You will get married speedily. All your blessings will come quick, quick, without wasting of time. Now begin to call on double speed in your life. I call double speed in my life in the name of Jesus. Anointing of double speed, follow me. Anointing of double speed, follow me. From now on, I will experience speed. From now on, I will grow speedily. From now on, I will move forward. I will no longer delay again. I will no longer be at one spot again. Anointing of double speed, follow me in the name of Jesus. The next prayer point. This year, my life must move forward. 
It must not delay. In the name of Jesus, this year 2023, my life must move forward. It must not delay. It must not delay my destiny. In the name of Jesus, this year 2023, my life must move forward. It must not delay my destiny. There will be no delay in my life any longer. In the name of Jesus, this year, my life must move forward. I will move forward this year. I will move forward this year. In the name of Jesus, I will move forward this year. In the name of Jesus, I will progress this year. In the name of Jesus, I will excel this year. In the name of Jesus, there will be no delay. In the name of Jesus. Now the next prayer point. Everywhere I have been denied access to, I enter in the name of Jesus. Everywhere I have been denied access to, I enter in the name of Jesus. Maybe you were denied access to a particular place. You cannot enter that place. You were rejected. Maybe you are searching for a job. Anywhere you have been rejected, you will enter that place and be accepted in the name of Jesus. Pray on that. Everywhere I have been rejected, I enter in the name of Jesus. I will be accepted in the name of Jesus. Everywhere I have been denied access to, I enter in the name of Jesus. Every good thing I have been deprived of by the enemy, I assess them in the name of Jesus. Every good thing I have been denied access to, I receive them in the name of Jesus. Anywhere you were rejected, you will enter that place of your blessing anything you will denied access to you will receive in the name of jesus from now on i reject the spirit of disappointment and rejection in the name of jesus from now on i reject the spirit of disappointment and rejection in the name of jesus from now on i reject the spirit of disappointment and rejection in the name of Jesus. These are 10 prayer points. Pray them very well. And I pray for you, child of God. Just pray this once at midnight. Failure will no longer be your portion. Disappointment will no longer be your portion. You will succeed in your effort. All your expectations shall come as you plan. Double speed to achieve your goal shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. Just say this prayer and you will see changes in your life. Disappointment, delay, stagnation, failure will leave and will be uprooted from your life, from your career, from your finance, from your family in the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Make sure the bell is turned on so that you can always get updates. You come and watch and God will bless you. Give this video a thumbs up.